Hello, this is going to be a quick demo of the uh, Hexalon TV analyzer looking at an ATSC3 uh, signal. Um, I am using a small antenna uh, north of Dallas. The transmitter is South Dallas, about 40 miles away. It's on channel 34. Uh, currently, I am on uh, channel 18, but we can uh, quickly change that. So let's select channel 34. Uh, it's going to find the uh, spectrum and that channel. It actually indicates it as a UNM2. There is a Univision and Fox station on, on that stream. Uh, we get uh, some basic parameters of ATC3. It says it right there, it's ATC3. Uh, together with uh, measurements, uh, power, MER, carrier to noise, left and right shoulders, and uh, the different services in there. If uh, we have a look about which uh, services they are, it'll become clear as we look at, um, so here it says like Fox, let's do Fox. So now we get the information on Fox and it should also indicate that this is a different part of the same services. We got the constellation diagram, which we can also zoom into it uh, gets uh, very complicated in ATSC3 and we have the spectrum and uh, so forth so uh, this is a um, very short introduction uh, what I would like to show maybe is that we can go into uh, more in-depth information on the parameters and we can make selections like we could change now to PLP0 which is the QPSK and PLP1, which is a 256 QAM signal. Let's go out of that. Uh, we also can go into measurements and then it will become clear that just beyond the instantaneous measurement, the unit is also all the time logging uh, the information over time. And uh, so it can become clear if you have a level or MER that is changing over time. Um, it'll show here. Services. Again, more information on, on the services. Okay, so there's a quick demo on how to use the, uh, the Hexalon for ATC3 measurements. Um, and I'll quickly also show how to uh, shut down the unit. It's very simple, you hold the button until it says shutting down completely. And uh, there we are. Thank you for watching.